Ruby, I want to ask you a question that I ask every guest who comes on the show, and it goes as follows. If you were stuck on a deserted island, and it can be a temperate island, and you can only eat one Filipino dish for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably some sort of sea log. So um, what a sea log dish is, it's basically, um, it, in, it involves um, garlic fried rice. Um, mm. It has a fried egg. And when I say fried egg, Peter, I'm talking about the legit fried egg. The <laughs> one that has the crispy, the fried edges, the whites are crispy, but yes. the yolk is still runny. Um, and But I, I would say like the meat, I don't know what, if I can decide on the meat right now. Let's just go with sisig. Um, I love pork sisig. That's like, um, it's diced up um, pork pork meat um, mm. and it's grilled. So I would I would love to have, you know, sisig meat with the, the fried egg and garlic fried rice. I, I wouldn't mind eating that for the rest of my life. I, oh, I would actually dope. be very happy. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty close to what my recent answer to that question was, which was white rice, uh my mom's cucumber kimchi, a sunny side up egg, and a, a hot dog. <laughs> Just love hot dogs. You can never go wrong as long as you have your rice and your egg. Whatever else you add to that, I I, I know oh, you I can know. go wrong with that decision. And also, shout out to having like fried edges to eggs. I don't know who, at what point, like got it into people's heads that like you all like eggs have to have like these gently cooked whites and like no brown edges. I'm like. Sometimes you want that, but sometimes you don't want those rubbery whites. No, no, no. It needs to be nice and crispy. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. In general, for this question, I would say chicken wings without a doubt, like specifically flats. Mm. Sorry to all the drum net lovers out there, but (laughs) it's called chicken wings for a reason. And I will settle this debate with anyone at any time. I settled it with someone in Vegas while he was pissed drunk and (laughs) I won. So just to tell you, like chicken wings are superior. (laughs) (laughs) And I would have that, I would have that prepared in like a sinigang, a dry rub style. Mm. And actually it was at Pinterest that I had these chicken wings for the first time. Like the chefs at Pinterest were all Filipino. And so or mostly Filipino. And so they had like every now and then they'll, they'll throw Mm. in like a Filipino flavor into something. So Sinigang chicken wings. Love that. And I have to say, I wholeheartedly endorse uh, flats over drumettes. Um, I mean, with the caveat that we have to recognize that for every flat, there is a drumette. So the people (laughs) who do eat drumettes, they are playing a very (laughs) useful role in the world because they're enabling the flat eaters, such as you, yourself, and and me, um, to eat the the flats that are indeed, I mean, they're just hands down much better. Like, to me, a drumette is like chicken breast shaped in a drum form, basically, you know? Yeah, and like the meat to skin ratio is just not ideal. And I usually eat a flat where I, I f- like the finale is usually like a chicken nugget. So I'll like wrap the skin around some of the meat. Wait a second. Okay, tell me about this flat technique. I have to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a finale okay. to each, each flat. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever gone in depth with my flat eating technique. But there are two sides to every flat. One with the thick skin on it and then the other side which is kind of like what I call the under Mm. and what I do is I first bite the underside and from there you can easily push out the rest of the meat from under the skin on the other side and then I grab the edge of the top side with the skin on it and then I peel it off so that there's like the thick skin with just a little slather of meat in the middle Mm. and then I roll that and you can easily dip it. And now I want chicken wings. Oh my goodness. That just like, that is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. One dish. Um, it'd probably be pork, pork adobo, pork belly adobo. I mean, I'm like 95% pork. So, um, it's <laughs> like my whole, my whole, it's probably that's why I have to eat chicken and rice right now. It's because I, I eat a lot of pork. Uh, I love it. I just, um, it's fatty, it's rich, it's textually, I mean, you know, it's just unctuous. Um, it's sweet, it's sour, and it has, you know, the sweetness from the pork, but it's, it has a sour, the umami. I love it. Mm. Um, 
I'm also like a basic. I'm like also. This is like so basic for me to say that though. Like, isn't it? I'm like the most basic. Like, I no, should this be is go, what I you're sh- eating every day, though. I should be going to brunch tomorrow and eating avocado toast and having a bellini. That's how. <laughs> that's how basic that that what I just said is. It's so basic. But I mean, I think that's kind of what the question gets at, right? Is it's, it's going to be something you eat for the rest of your life? So it's not going to be something that's out there. It's got to be pretty much right in the strike zone. Yeah, I mean, it is what you. It's 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 got to be what you love, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be what exactly. you love. Yeah, yeah. All right, pork adobo, just straight up or with rice? Pork belly with rice. Yeah, yeah pork belly with rice. I mean, that's a meal. You don't need anything that's else. It. That's very, it. Very, very perfect uh, uh, meal right there. Right on. They'll tell the 95% pork. Love it. <laughs> that's my new album, dude. 95% pork. <laughs> Tell Tal Day, ninety five percent for it. It'll be oh, up yes. there. It'll be up with. It'll be up there with Donda and Certified Lover Boy. <laughs>